How's it going, Daniel? Good. Thanks for inviting us. We really want to learn a bit more about rigging. And uh, I love your number plate. It says rig it. Rig it, mate. You advertise what you do and try and do it well. I don't want to work for anybody. I had a couple other little businesses. They failed. I thought, well, I think if we take a shed, shove it against the house and buy a couple of sewing machines, I think we could do it. We are in Calgary, the only one-stop shop to rig, let's say, up a bed truck or a picker truck. So when you pull in where we're sitting right here, you leave and go to work. You have your flags, your signs, your D signs, your tie downs, your chains, your tire chains. After 41 years, I should know how to build a rigging shop. And I do. Greg is a walking, breathing encyclopedia of rigging. He's definitely a guy that when you're around, you, you tend to open up your ears more than you open up your mouth. The big one that I always take away from is do what you say and say what you do. Shake a guy's hand and tell him you're gonna do it. In business, we found that's the key to succeeding. Without Greg, we wouldn't be nearly the company we are today. Greg sets quite a high standard. Yes, very much so, and we, we love it that way. That way we make sure we're, we're perfect or as perfect as we can be, uh, and customers get what they want, when they want, as fast as they need it. A lot of the things that we do do, as simple as they may seem, it's really important that you get everything really right because people's lives depend on us. We're the fastest growing company I've, I know. We are growing in leaps and bounds because of one thing, good old fashioned service. I tell the boys every day, service might have gone out of style, but not here it hasn't. I teach all my own men how to do everything because I've done everything. I don't have to go, oh, I don't know how to do that. I splice the cable to teach them how to splice the cable. And so far in 41 years, I still haven't found anybody that can do it as fast as I can. We have all the certification in this industry. They weren't there even five years ago. The bank now wants to give you all the money in the world today. You can't make a dollar and spend two. You're going to be done. And I think anybody in business this year would say, if their accountant tells you you made 10 bucks, it's time to crack the champagne, because there's a whole bunch of guys who didn't make any. My dad used to say every day, life's hard, get used to it. And I'm 58 years old, and life's still hard, get used to it. This is what happens to 51,000 pounds of stress put on one of Kenyan Rig's straps. But you know there's one thing that doesn't break here, one thing that keeps this business going, and that's the commitment to core values, to the things that makes business work, to integrity, to commitment, and ultimately to family values. This is an inspiring story, and thank you for the opportunity to share it with you.